was about what happens given that patients remain in remission or do not experience any events, then how is their outlook going to change? So the motivation behind the study was that a lot of there's been some studies about this in systemic diffuse large B cell lymphoma. However, that in, in systemic diffuse large B cell lymphoma, it's shown that patients who survive around two years without experiencing an event have survival prospects which are very, very similar to that of a healthy population. However, primary CNS lymphoma uh, relies on different treatments because the blood-brain barrier kind of restricts the, uh, the administration possibilities of chemotherapy. So uh, it's expected that they tend to perform a lot worse and we wanted to see does the survival actually improve over time compared to uh, how the background population performs and if so, to what extent and does it ever normalize. The probability of surviving five years without relapsing is about 25% when you look at it from diagnosis, which is quite bad compared to normal diffuse large piece of lymphoma. However, given that they survive one or two years, this actually increases to around 50%. So it, there is a big increase, but it's still fairly, I mean, it's not a great prospect to have. And similarly, even if you condition on later uh, time points of being an event free survival or remaining in remission for, for example, two or three years, it does not really improve that much past this prospect of having a five year probability of surviving without relapsing of around 50%. So it improves, but it does not improve that much. And furthermore, if we look again at the loss of life expectancy, we also see there that initially they if you would follow patients for about five years, they would be expected to lose about two, t two years of life expectancy compared to the general population. But among patients who survive or reach at least one year or remain in remission for at least one year, then we see that this reduces to about one year. So there's a big reduction, but it's definitely still increased compared to the, uh, the general healthy population. I think the main take home message from this study is that patients definitely do better over time so th there is a bit of a reassurance that the longer you remain in remission the better your prospects are going to be but there there has to be uh, a decent follow-up program because they are still at increased risk of events all kinds and all sorts